Hi everyone and welcome to Insight on Eye Health, a holistic look at cataracts. My name is Margaret Wallace Duffy and I'm very excited to have sitting next to me my holistic optometrist, Dr. Carolyn Teske. Welcome Dr. Teske. Thank you, Margaret. So a few months ago, I was sitting in your office having my eyes checked and I have huge respect for the way in which you practice. You're really holistic in your approach. And I leaned over after my exam and said to you, I'd really love to produce a show all about cataracts and make it holistic, and you jumped at the chance. What's our goal in this project? So I think we share the same passion, Margaret. Uh, our passion is education. And we would love, with Insight on Eye Health, to empower patients to have tools in their toolkits to keep well and be well, and part of their eye health certainly will benefit from the rest of their body being healthy. And that's what, you're so right, we really do resonate when it comes to that approach. And on this show, we are truly going to take a holistic look. We will cover, uh, of course, everything about cataracts, but we're going to look at the impact that nutrition and hormones have, and even look at the financial impact um, that your eye health can have if we don't plan properly. It's important to you in your practice, and this is the way you work every day. Absolutely. Optometrists, because we look into the eye, certainly can see a reflection of what's happening elsewhere in the body. So it's really important for all optometrists and certainly for all healthcare providers to link so that we can hopefully empower patients to be well. You know, that's so true. And linking arms and, and holistically working together for prevention and improvement of patient outcomes is what we're all about. So let's talk about cataracts. Can you tell me um, sort of some of the signs and symptoms of the disease? Absolutely. So a cataract is the natural clouding of the lens inside your eye. And often patients will end up in my office sensing change in their vision and diminishing of their vision, um, expecting that they need new glasses, when really glasses are not the answer at all. Um, so often in early cataract, we can shift the prescription to temporarily help um, with early cataract symptoms, but really what they're sensing is night driving problems, uh, halos around headlights, and glare is the most predominant problem. And so what can we do about that in those early stages? So certainly early on if we can change prescription that's helpful, and then premium anti-glare lenses are essential at getting more light through the lens, more light into the eye so the patient can see better. We have a device-filled world. We use iPads, iPods, laptops, computers, and all of those devices provide us with so much glare. Nikon has been instrumental at leading industry and developing blue light filters that allow us to be protected from glare. Cataracts are not the only cause of glare. If other ocular media, like the surface of the eye, the cornea, or the tear film is not clear, that will also induce blurry vision. It is important with cataracts to ensure that the surface of your eye is not dry, that the lids around the eye are clear and not inflamed, and all of those things help a patient see clearly. We're back here with Dr. Teske talking about prevention and lifestyle and cataracts. Now I know you are all about prevention, so when we're talking about glare, how can we prevent that? You know, patients often sense glare for a variety of reasons, not only cataract. Um, glare is created when there's scatter of the light that is trying to get into the eye, and that glare can be created by a dry surface. So instead of being reactive to dryness, uh, if your eyes feel dry, put drops in, then generally I encourage patients to get up, brush your teeth, put a drop in every day. Um, and in my office, my recommendation generally is high-low. I know that firsthand because with my aging eyes and going through menopause so early, I was shocked to find out that I should be taking and using eye drops every day regardless. I didn't even have dry eyes. It's so important for eye health. You know, we use lubricants to hydrate your skin and your hands and your face, but we really neglect our eyes. Mm -hmm. And we have such a visually demanding world. You know, we're using devices. Um, blue light is a reality. Um, and it's important to shield our eyes um, from the effects of blue light.
After cataract surgery, it's important that to benefit from the clear vision that removing the cataract has allowed, the optics of your spectacles will also provide you with clear vision. Nikon lenses give you those optics with their multi-layered coatings. Nikon lenses have UV filters on the back surface, which protect even more um, the eye from harmful rays. 